Good morning, class. Today we're going to do our second lesson in the dot product of vectors. Specifically, we're going to learn how to project one vector onto another and decompose a vector um, in terms of two others. So go ahead, try the warm up, pause it here. All right, as you can see on the left hand side, I first added V and W vectors together. And then on the right hand side, I did the dot product of U and V and U and W. Then I took and did dot product of vector U with this new resulting addition vector and got these numbers, four plus two is six. On the right hand side, when you finish simplifying, you get six. So showing pretty much that property of distribution of vectors. All right, here is the theorem we're going to use. Um, take a look at this. So what we have here is two vectors, vector V and vector W. And if we want to project vector V onto W, we have this little calculation. It uses dot product. And um, we'll go through that calculation. But the projection is just saying, hey, take v and find out the component um, so v1 will be parallel to w so it's just the projection onto w the decomposition actually takes vector v and turns it into two vectors one v1 is parallel to w and v2 is perpendicular or normal to w and you can see that calculation is much simpler just subtract the vectors in the ij form on the next page, we'll try it. Okay, here we have an example. So please note, we have vector V and it's being projected onto vector W. So V1 will be parallel to W, but in the length of V, well, not the full length of V, but kind of the um, horizontal length of V. And then V2 is perpendicular to V1 or perpendicular to W. So let's go through the calculations. V1 equals the dot product of the two. So that's one times one plus three times one, and you get four, divided by the magnitude of vector W squared. So the magnitude of vector w is the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared, which is the square root of 2, and I square it, and I get 2. When you simplify this, you have 4 over 2, which is 2, and they just say take that and multiply it by vector w. So 2 times vector w, which is i plus j, gets you 2i plus 2j, actually. They should have written that in here, equals 2i plus 2j. That is vector v1, which is parallel to w, and you can see it's kind of like the horizontal distance of v, but it's in the length or in the direction of vector w. All right, the next part is finding v2, which is this one here. And that we just take the original vector v, we subtract our new vector v1. So here's vector v minus v1 or minus 2i minus 2j, minus 2i plus 2j. And you combine like terms, so 1 minus 2 is negative 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, and that's vector v2. That's decomposing a vector into two orthogonal vectors or projecting a vector onto another vector, which is your, just your answer, V1. On the next slide, you're going to do that on your own. Um, once you get to the next slide, pause it and try the problem on your own, and then I will show you the answer. All right, so you should pause it now so you can try it on your own. Okay, here are your answers. First thing I tried to do over here is to graph the vectors. I apologize, it's a little kind of uh, crooked. But I first plotted negative 4, 3, vector v. 
Then I plotted two negative one vector w. And you can see v1 is 180 degrees from w, because it's got to be in the direction of v. And then perpendicular to it to make v, kind of the addition of the two, v1 and v2, add up to v. And that's 90 degrees from v1. And you can see it's very short. So I went through over here the formula. You can see the work. So the dot product and then the square of the square root of 4 plus 1. And then I get that result, which is negative 11 fifths. And I distribute that onto vector w. And here's my answer, negative 22 fifths i plus 11 fifths j. Take a look at that and look at this v1. You can see it's going negative pretty far over and only a little bit up. So... Um, it's twice as far over as it is up. So those numbers should look right according to your drawing. The drawing is helpful in that perspective. V2, which is that projection um, that's perpendicular to the first one, um, is just a subtraction. I put it in I and J form here. It was kind of easier to see. And you have to get common denominators. So you end up with 2 fifths I plus 4 fifths J. You can also write it back as that vector component form with the um, arrow brackets. So take a look at V2 up here. See how it's very little over and about double the amount up. So if you put that in standard position or in position as a position vector, it'd be right here, and it would be going in the first quadrant. So it should look right. That's it. Your homework is just three of these problems. Refer back to these notes as much as you need or to your text as well. Bye.